Okay, so I saw this truck. I was driving. And it said 2023 on it. I was like, oh yeah, 2023. I like those numbers. And then I realized like, oh, it's it's actually 2024. And I was like, why don't I feel like it's the new year? And why every year does it take me like a few months to realize that it's actually the next year, like the next calendar year. It seems like every year of life that I go through, there's always this like cognitive delay of realizing what year it is. And why, I was like, why would that be? And then I had this, um, this thought appeared in my mind and that was, well, you know, apparently um, the new year used to be at the start of spring. And so maybe, like many, I don't know, lifetimes ago or many lifetimes that I've lived, I was used to, you know, celebrating the beginning of the new year when spring happened. And then I was thinking, like, why, like, what's the value of having new year in the middle of winter? Like, things haven't actually come to an end yet. Like, you're expecting there to be a new beginning. But there's no new beginning in the middle of winter. Like you're literally still experiencing the end. So it's very strange that it would be that way. It doesn't, it seems out of sync with natural cycles. And maybe that's the, the point is to bring us out of sync with natural cycles. So and I was thinking like all this energy of like new year manifestation is sort of like squandered at this time when things are still contracting and there's like this peace that's settling over things and people are trying to force these new energies through because it's the new year, but it's not actually the new year. And so like the, the structure of society is at odds with nature once again. And I, you know, believe that's very much by design, but it's interesting to, to notice it in this way with the calendar. And then I was thinking like, wow, well, what about where's the blessing? So the blessing is that by doing that, like the whole goal, if the goal is to like fuck with humanity, then like we adapted. So we became capable of initiating great changes like during a time of extreme contraction. So <laughs> what that means is that even though it's winter, we're capable of stepping up and initiating a change just through our will, like through our collective will and like creating a new year that's separate from the actual new year. So I'm saying the actual new year, you know, it's when nature decides. And then our new year is arbitrary, but we're, we're capable of bringing those energies forth through our collective will. And that is what allows us to avert an apocalypse or a Ragnarok or the end of the world. Like I just see it in this beautiful way as like, like things are going along a certain way according to a certain design. And you know, there's, there's nature's design. And then there's this arbitrary one that we've overlaid it with. But our ability to adapt to the arbitrary design of interruption, of disruption, of forcing growth during a time of stagnation or contraction, it has enabled us to disrupt the flow of that intention. So it's sort of like, like a mirror like the thing that is used to keep us down becomes the thing that allows us to free ourselves. And I'm really hoping that whoever's watching this is able to follow along because it's kind of hard for me to even think my way through it. And I really shouldn't be thinking I should just be speaking from the heart, <laughs> but you know, doing our best here. So I think I'll end it there. Um, thanks for watching.